to the final Mooresville Cars and Coffee of the year. All right, you guys, so we're finally at the event, and check out right here. It's a CR1. So we got a gorgeous M5 right there. We got the ZHP, and yeah, this is a June garage. So let's see, we got daily, or, uh, or, or a really, really fun daily, and then weekend gas guzzler. <laughs> So the owner of this Camaro is about to start it up for us. <laughs> oh! Holy moly! Okay! <laughs> that was intense! <laughs> Oh my goodness! She loves, she loves gas. So what have you done to it? It's got a whole lot done to it. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Woo wee! Not bad. Twin turbo V8. The replacement to that natural aspirated V10 that BMW used to have. However, comma, that not just for V10, as sexy as it sounded, it also had its share of problems. But if BMW went and did it again, like fixed it and made it better, then it would have been awesome. It would have been perfect for, you know, like this car right here, especially for the next generation of M5s to come as well. So we got a beautiful sounding F430 that also showed up. My goodness, so many Ferraris are showing up. Usually, I, I will only expect to see uh, this many, you know, Lamborghinis or maybe maybe one more McLaren. But to see an, this many Ferraris, I mean, geez. Next up, I'm going to be seeing it's like a Performante showing up. I say this, and, and I'm just joking around, but I, have, but I bet you guys the next clip, I'm kidding, the next clip is not going to be of uh, Lamborghini Performante showing up. But I promise you that near the end of this event, there's going to be a, a Lamborghini showing up. I mean, this, that, that F430 is not bad at all. Naturally aspirated, supercharged LT4, and, and the better platform than the Corvette does, because this LT4 can actually... Well, I should say this whole platform right here, the Camaro platform, can actually keep the power down and won't go fishtailing inside of a um, corner. <laughs> so we got a Ferrari 458. Eight. And if you guys remember, I don't think you guys saw it clearly. That Ferrari 458 that just that's showing up currently is actually that one where it actually caused me to, you know, step back and hold my eardrums because that thing was that intense that loud so um yeah Ferrari 458 we got the Nachi aspirated Ferrari showing up I mean now I mean this is good this is really good whoa thank god I kept filming that was intense <laughs> Best sounding car so far here, and that's hard for me to say because because we have a ZR1 and and like the ZL1 as well, and we got the Ferrari F4 F430 right over there as well. I mean. Oh my god, so good, so good. But that car is the best sounding one. That 4458, best sounding car here. I don't care what you guys say. That, that car may not have any pops or anything crazy like that. That Ferrari, whoo, sounds so good. It sounds so good. I, I love the Ferrari 458. Four, four, all naturally aspirated instead of the twin turbocharged V8 that's inside of the 488. So, I mean, this is amazing. Previous generation Camaro ZL1, the one that Tarmigan ZL1 decided to 
turned into the Freedom Rocket. <laughs> so we got twin turbo V8, we got naturally aspirated inline six, and then we got supercharged L24 V V8, also naturally aspirated. So to see see a supercharged naturally aspirated or no non-turbo or supercharged and a twin turbo V8. Well, mine's N96, but still, the point still being, you got these vehicles right here. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Now, people have also asked me, you know, I, I've been saying I will never sell, I will never sell the Dragon Slayer, and that's still true to this day. I will never sell it. But if somebody would say, hey, how, if we trade for an I8 or maybe one of these bad boys right here, would I do it? And I'm sitting here like. Ooh, that's a hard, that's a hard call. That's a really hard call. Especially since I really love the Dragon Slayer, but the simple fact that this thing sounds really good and performs really well as well. I mean, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But this right here would be an amazing daily. In fact, I've sat in one of my buddies' F10 M5s and it sounded so good and it was really comfortable as well like he was doing you know ridiculous amounts of speed at one point to the point to where it was so so insane like whew. like i can't tell you guys how fast he was going but let's just say for the speed that he was going i was really comfortable while he was doing it and that's insane gorgeous twin turbo v8 i love it Love it. We got my dude over there showing up as well. Yeah. yeah. Where are the rest of the guys? Where they stop for breakfast again? <laughs> yeah. They are literally two ZR1s here. This this generation, and then the newer one, which is that yellow one with the yellow hood open over there. Holy moly. This one right here, I've actually met the owner too, so cool guy. He's an amazing guy, and I mean, it's awesome to see this ZR1 coming out. I actually love this generation of Corvettes as well, especially the ZR1. Because, funny enough, unlike, you know, the newer ZR1, this one only came in a manual transmission. So take that into consideration. In order to get the top of the line Corvette, you have to learn to drive stick. But look at that, we got carbon ceramics, freaking chrome wheels, color match, almost color matching um, brake calibers. Woo wee! This ZR1 is sick. I, I really do love the ZR1. It's an amazing car, especially for how insane the performance you get out of driving these things as well. It's so cool. So the owner just told me that he also had a ZR1 here. So that's three ZR1s. So let me see here. We got ZR1 number one. We got ZR1 number two. And we got ZR1 number three right there with the yellow hood, hood open so three zr1s in like one location that is insane holy moly so you guys i believe right here we got a 570 gt yeah 570 gt and yeah i know the owner of this guy amazing car too this car actually can carry a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff than the um, S, so it's pretty cool to see the GT. So we have a white ZL1 that's currently going somewhere, I don't know where he's going, but we also have a blue ZL1 as well, like geez! And we have a, a Chevy SS, the best sleeper here. Like my goodness, there's so many insane cars. Here today, I didn't realize until I looked back over here. I was like, "Let me see what's hap what's popping over here." Sure enough, <laughs> sure enough, two more ZL1s and a Chevy SS, which is whew, 